Well, good evening, boys and girls. It's been a long time since the Netflix has come to your eardrums, but here we are. It is May 11th, 2020, and I am Josh, alongside a voice you may know from a little show called The Backstage Slam, Ben. Ben, how's it going? Howdy doody. Well, for those that are joining us here for the first time, this is the Netflix. This is the show where we kind of give you a little bit of uh, advice on what to watch when it comes to Netflix. You know, just trying to trying to help you make the most of that Netflix subscription that you have. And and during this time, quarantine and and even though re- you know restrictions are easing up. It's never a bad time to just sit back and watch some Netflix. So that's what we're we're, we're going to say what to watch, what we recommend. <laughs> I have to admit this is the first time using this particular format for the show. So, as we both kind of uh take a deep dive in, into the things we like, into the content that we want to push on to everybody, uh, bear with us because, <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I have some ideas of the things I want to get into. So how about for the first leg of this little journey we're going to take, let's talk about three things we recommend. One Netflix original, one movie, one TV show. Uh, Ben, I'm going to go ahead and let you get started on what whatever one you want to do i know there's something specific that you want to you want to talk about so uh, i will let you go ahead and get to that i specifically pulled four tv shows four i TV I, shows. I haven't wa- you know what the only movie i watched um on netflix it was an old 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 older movie though um it was the uh geez what's see i can't even remember the name of the movie now um I think it was, jeez, yeah, I can't remember the name of the movie. It was that dude from Three Hundred, the one he's the uh, the bodyguard to Morgan Freeman's president character. That one show with or that one movie with the is that Olympus has fallen. I don't know. If it was the first or the second one because I know Angel is fallen is the newest one, right? I think so. I saw that in theater, but I didn't people? know it was part of a two or three movie series. Yeah, I, I don't like know. Angel, uh, Olympus has fallen, London has fallen, or something. I haven't seen any of them to be honest. So if you if you recommend that, it's definitely going to go on my list as well. It should go on everybody's list, and uh, hopefully we can you know talk about it at some point later this week. Yeah, but that week. was that was like uh, three three or four months ago. I haven't watched a lot of movies. I've been putting off the brand new, uh, uh, was it Extraction movie yeah. with uh, Thor in it? <laughs> uh, I have that saved on my watch list. Uh, I think it just came out like two weeks ago. But yeah, I haven't watched any movies um, on that. I've been binge watching a lot of regular tv shows including uh korean content uh which i i've been watching korean content for years and now so, you um, want to recommend something from netflix <laughs> since this is the netflix yeah so my my taste uh, and Josh's taste is, is a little bit different, but I think uh, it it will expand on a wide uh, variety in terms of genre and interest uh, that we could actually um, get people to check out. Um, although, okay, since w- w- let's start off with let's start off with movies. Um, okay, there's uh, two Korean movies. Uh, both are based in the uh, the zombie genre. Um, it is well, actually, one's a TV show. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna say one movie. I'm gonna save one for the next episode. Um, so there is a zombie film called Train to Busan. Have you seen that, Josh? 
No, I haven't, but I've heard of it. Okay. Train to Busan is arguably the most popular zombie film in this current day and age right now. I think it came out like five, six years ago. Um, it's basically the best zombie movie ever created in my in my own personal opinion. I know there's a lot of people that um, love the zombie zombie genre or horror genre to be um, specific. When I turned them on to it, and when I turned people on to it, they were kind of hesitant because, uh, you know, um, a lot of the friends that I have, they they don't typically watch foreign stuff. Uh, they're they're not accustomed to reading subtitles. Mm-hmm. But once they seen this movie, every time I check in on them, and I and if we're playing a video game like that that has uh, zombies and stuff like that, they always say, "Oh, dude, I just." They always say, hey, Ben, I just watched Train to Busan for the 20th time. And I'm like, see, that's That's what I'm talking about. Like, this movie is so good that it has a lot of it's like the original Mortal Kombat movie. It's cheesy. It's a guilty pleasure. And you never get tired of watching it. And Train to Busan is is that movie. Train to Busan. That's zombie. Yep. You said uh, it the, is... the, the sequel to that movie is coming out, I think, later this year or early next year. It's called Train to Busan Presents Peninsula. Okay. So it's actually getting a sequel. Uh, Train to Busan, 2016 movie, uh, clocking mm-hmm. in at about uh, an hour and 57 minutes. Described as a zombie outbreak sweeps across the country, a dad and his daughter take a harrowing train journey in an attempt to reach the only city that's still safe. You know, mm-hmm. it's um, pretty good timing, you know, to have you on here to talk about your your passion for Korean movies and TV shows because I think a lot of people finally sat up and took notice of the Korean film industry after Parasite won Best Picture at the Oscars this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, they also did... Uh... I think it was probably 10 years ago, if not maybe longer, there was another uh, Korean film. It might not be a kaiju film. Kaiju is basically what is referred to as a giant monster movie, kind of like Godzilla and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's also another movie. If there was the first movie that you kind of want to watch made from Korea, it's called The Host. Okay. Okay. Wasn't there an American remake of that? I'm not sure, actually. Ne- neither am I, but it sounds very familiar. Like that, like something that uh, would have been done kind of like The Grudge back in the day, or Ringu, or The Ring. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, uh, that's that's a very, very good movie, too, actually. Uh, if, if, if you're not into foreign film or you want to take a chance on it um i'm not sure if netflix uh has it with uh, english dub i do not recommend watching any asian content that's english dub unless it's anime and the only reason i say that is because i don't know where they get the voice actors for english dubbing if you watch an english dubbed anime uh, it's more reliable, but for some reason, the movies, it sounds like they got every single person cast either in Texas or in, in California, where they either sound too much like cowboys or they sound too much like surfer dudes. And it's it's not good. Just watch it in Korean. The subtitles are there. Trust me. Um, it, it, it's, it's totally worth it. And you're not going to miss anything. Trust me. You're not going to miss anything unless you're dyslexic or you get dizzy real easy from you know reading stuff for too long on the bottom of the screen i highly suggest you watch foreign films with subtitles as is without watching english dub and if there are any foreign films uh that do have english dub i will let you know which ones are the good ones (laughs) and you can do that by hitting them up at yo bro mmo on twitter yeah, figured I'd uh, get that out there real quick. But if you want to hit me up, I am always at Skit Comic, no matter what the platform is. My movie. I'm just gonna go ahead and 
I'm going to tell you, it's a weird one. Yeah. It's 2015's The Lobster. Rated R. Hour and 58 <laughs> minutes. It's described as, In a near future world, single people are hunted and forced to find mates within 45 days or be turned into animals and banished to the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird one. It's really I, I, weird. I've actually seen it. Uh, I think it was last year. Actually, it was probably late last year. Um, for everybody that's been following our wrestling podcast online and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people say, hey, uh, my family's canceling cable. Is, are there any free alternatives? Even if it's just basic cable television on uh, free on the internet. I've been telling people Pluto.tv to go and check out Pluto.tv because... They have basic. They have a twenty four seven online streaming. Uh, they they have uh, select channels like uh, there's twenty four seven Kung Fu channel where they show martial arts movies from the the from the sixties all the way till as recent as two years ago. Twenty four seven. They have an all horror movie channel. They have an all sci fi uh, uh, movie channel, and I believe that movie. That you're uh, that you just brought up, Josh, is one of the movies that I ended up catching on the late night on Pluto. Well, that would that would be really surprising to me. I, although I've watched Pluto, and in fact, I was watching it one day, and one of the horror channels I was watching, it looked like a Saw movie, and I'm like, I don't remember this. I thought I saw every Saw movie in the theater. And it turns out it was a Saw movie, and I guess I just <laughs> forgot that I saw it, or maybe I never saw it before. I don't know. The, even the Saw story is is so convoluted and wrapped up in itself, mm-hmm. where you have like five movies taking place at the same time with different people pulling different strings. And you know what? I dig it. As much as it sounds like I'm planning, I dig it. But uh, back to The Lobster, it is my recommendation for this week. And stars Colin Farrell, Rachel Wise, and Jessica Barden. It's listed as a comedy, but I mean... Jessica Barden or Misha Barton? It listed as Jessica Barton. Oh, okay. It it's It's like... I don't know. Orange is the New Black was listed as a comedy, and it's, again, one of those shows that has funny moments. You know, a lot of funny moments. Some funny characters, even. But there was a lot of drama in it, too. I'm not saying the drama in this is really over the top. or I. It's got funny moments. The premise is absolutely crazy. But the tone is kind of serious. Yeah. So The Lobster is my movie recommendation. Ben, do you have a TV show? Um, I have uh I have two TV shows that I want to talk about. Uh they're both Korean TV shows. One uh one came out on April 29th. It's 10 episodes long. Uh this would be the perfect time to let Everybody know if you've watched it or not since I recommended it to you in the last 48 hours. And there's one that's currently airing right now. It's right in the middle of its season, basically. Uh, So the first TV show, uh, it's a Korean drama named Extra Curricular. Uh, it's, It's a very, very intriguing TV show that is basically one giant roller coaster. Right. Um, It's basically um, a high school student runs an illegal business uh, on the side. Like he has a little side hustle and he's caught by one of his classmates who ends up uh, uh, trying to blackmail him because uh, they want a part of that business. And that starts a series of unfortunate (laughs) events that's pretty amazing extra no, that, that's a different series altogether man 
Yeah. Oh, oh, oh a series do tell, of John. fortunate events. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, extracurricular is a 2020 uh, crime TV drama teen mm-hmm. TV show as, as it's listed. It says the show is dark. That's what yeah. It it, says. It's it's yeah. He says okay, crime teen. Don't expect CW stuff. Okay, this is not Riverdale. This is like imagine Riverdale, but if uh, the Wachowski brothers or or you know I don't know uh, somebody else with uh, like a, a a a a person who does slasher movies really well. This is a pretty damn good show. Well, it is Have you also a Netflix original. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to watch it, you can only watch it on Netflix or other places, but we don't talk about that. We are talking about how to make the most out of your Netflix account. <laughs> Extra curious. Have, you, have you checked out an episode? No, no, I haven't. You know, the way you describe it, it's rated TVMA. I have kids running around. <laughs> It's yeah, that's why I said uh, uh, just hop into. Yeah, I mean the the scene that I described to you is probably the most harshest one, and then it's in the first episode actually. Mm. Uh, the second show is called The King Eternal Monarch. It's currently airing on Netflix right now, with uh, brand new episodes coming out on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, in Korea, but here in North America, they come out on Friday and Saturday. Uh, the show is about uh, a king from the kingdom of Korea, and Korea is spelled with a C. C-O-R-E-A. And he attempts to cross a barrier, uh, a barrier into a parallel universe where the Republic of Korea exists, which is basically our world, our known reality. Modern day, or yep, uh, basically the world that we live in in reality. So uh, there's two parallel wor- worlds, and he comes across a police detective who he already recognizes because from a uh, spoiler, 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 spoiler event at the very beginning of the show, uh, there was a tragedy. Um, during his childhood and basically um, oh man I don't want to give too much spoilers it's basically a king and another person are able to travel to a parallel earth and there's a lot of action there's fantasy elements romance, comedy all jumbled up in there, and if anybody who is a fan of Japanese anime, uh, you guys would know this term. It's either uh, Elseworlds or Isekai, which is basically another reality, whether a protagonist or an antagonist is pulled into another, uh, a pulled into another universe or another world, and this is basically that. It's just done in on a real uh, TV show instead of on animation or a cartoon manga comic book. So um, the cast is, if you've been watching a lot of Korean drama lately, you are going to recognize some heavy hitters on here. They got a really, really, really well-known cast on this show. And I highly suggest this show. Um the sh- the show isn't scheduled to finish for another eight week uh I mean, for another four weeks. So if you want to click uh add it to your list to watch later, I highly suggest it. If you want to binge watch all sixteen episodes, because right now this week they are going to be releasing episode nine and ten uh, this coming weekend. Okay, so that is the uh, that's the King Eternal Monarch, yes. Yes. 
Uh, let's see, Netflix original series. Rated TV 14. So this is one that I wouldn't have to hide the kids for. So it's a good suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Non-spoilery, though. Okay, there is a... Um, it, it is kind of confusing, to be honest. Even even as somebody that's been watching Korean content for years, both the main antagonist and main protagonist is able to tra- traverse uh, worlds. Except one, the, the, the main bad guy is basically trying to turn our world into his into his reality that's the easiest way to put it in non-spoiler terms is okay. he's basically <laughs> okay oh man here we go history lesson <laughs> so the, the the country of korea is basically split into north and south korea yes South Korea is known as the Republic of Korea. Uh, during the early, early, early 1900s, uh, they abolished the monarchy, the, meaning they got they got rid of uh, all the kings and the queens that ruled the country of Korea uh, due to the war with Japan. When Japan came and uh, started um, to invade, uh, and Japan occupied. Uh, South Korea for quite some time and uh, when uh, there was amnesty and all of that stuff died down they they decided to stop uh, you know the, the monarch monarchy rule and you know they ended up going towards the traditional uh, government that you know we have here in America and in Canada and other places where they have a, a president or prime minister um, so basically, the the original Earth that the main protagonist and the main antagonist comes from, their Korea is called the Kingdom of Korea, and Korea is spelled with a C instead of a K. And the only difference in that Korea is that uh, they defeated the Japanese from ever stepping foot on Korea and they still have a monarchy in place that's ruling that country. That sounds pretty in depth. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's quite amazing. Now would you recommend why well, would I don't want to ask if you'd recommend would you say that the the show is safe for the like what's the youngest you would say people could have their kids watch something like this and uh, maybe they understand it i i would say probably like 12 and up because okay when there are you know scenes on murder it's basically what you would normally see on a cbs show like uh Criminal Minds or CSI, you know, it's not, you know, it's not that bad. Fair enough. So, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I will suggest. It's not trained. I... To, it's not trained to Busan. <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, move on to my TV suggestion. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, can, we're I, still, can I say something still... real quick too? Oh, wait, wait. Um, are are you gonna be um, and are we gonna have a segment where we're gonna bring up a couple of stuff coming up later on this month, like you, like you usually do, instead of going down the whole gamut? Yeah. Well, uh, since this is kind of thrown together at the last second, I figured I would mention, and we could talk about the stuff that has come out already. And what will be coming out over the next six days? Yeah, because, um, well, there's one thing that I've been waiting for all month long or all year long that's coming out on the 22nd, and it's called The Trailer Park Boys, the animated series season two, dropping May 22nd. Oh, 
Yeah. So we're about a week away from talking about that. Yeah. I'm a huge Trailer Park Boys fan. Then that should have been the TV show that you recommend people watch. It's just that uh, it's been a while. They they haven't put out a uh, a traditional TV show. The last two seasons, oh, well, the 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 newest things that they went into animation animated form, so it's it's a little bit different. <laughs> okay, uh, next week. Boys and girls, if you're interested in hearing about the Trailer Park Boys, I will let Ben have at it and talk to his heart's heart's content about the Trailer Park Boys. In the meantime, I'm going to recommend a TV show for you to watch this week. And that is the classic. The show that, for some reason, only now people are really getting on board with. Maybe it's because it finally hit Netflix. Community. If you haven't seen Community, what are you doing? You're, you're kind of messing up life here. Community is one of those great shows like The Office. I've only completed the first season. And now that you mention it, I'm happy that it's moved on Netflix. I'm going to go save it right now. Yeah, it's it came, I want to say, April 1st. First week of April. And now I finally get to talk about it on this show. It is seriously one of my my, my favorite shows of all time. Everything from Joel McHale playing Joel McHale, uh, having a crush on, (laughs) um, well, we don't need to talk about that, but Joanne Abed in the morning, the paintball episodes, the just wit of it all, the, the smart writing. My goodness, if you haven't watched Community... Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a freaking favor and give the show a watch. Now, you got to remember, this show was canceled after five seasons. It was on the bubble for like four of those seasons. And the last season, to fulfill the prophecy, because the prophecy was six seasons and a movie. And we still got the <laughs> movie, but... Yahoo, yeah, yahoo.com uh, picked up Community for the sixth season. And if things seem different, yeah, that's why. Mm-hmm. Nothing, I mean, it's not like they said, okay, we are going to severely limit what you're able to do. But like I said, Community was canceled. It was done. And at if I'm remembering right, some of the talent already moved on to other things and couldn't make the commitment to come back. I'm not going to talk about who, just in case you haven't seen it, but watch it. I, I watch it. I beg you. <laughs> you have to do this. In fact, I might watch it again for like the fourth time. A lot of people. They go crazy over The Office. And and don't get me wrong, The Office is a great show. I've seen every episode like, you know, four or five times. But Community, that, that's what The Office is to some people that that are like, I'm going to watch this 50 times. Not even gonna, not even gonna say anything negative about that. People like what they like. It's, it's the first rule of internet court. You know, people are allowed to like what they like. Judge John Hodgman has ruled. But for me, like I said, community's that show for me. So watch it, watch it, and uh, watch it. So we have uh, one more recommendation apiece. Although I'm not really sure. What to do about your recommendations, Ben, because you already suggested two Netflix originals, and I'm just going to mention one that uh, is going to be well known to most people uh, that I just recently finished. Uh, That's The the Last Kingdom, season four. Okay. So, fans of The Last Kingdom, season four. Season four is now out on Netflix. It has been on for for about, what, uh, a week and a half now ish. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Last Kingdom, 
season four. Uh, they're uh, they took a huge step towards the end game. So I I, I don't know uh, how long the that this show originally signed up for season in terms of seasons, but they're getting close to the end game, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Well, then I I guess it's my turn to suggest a Netflix original, be it movie or show. Now, there are a lot of different shows to choose from. A lot of different movies. You can't really go wrong with certain titles. I like a lot of them, to be perfectly frank. But I've also been told I kind of have uh, a loosey-goosey kind of take on what's good and what's not. People, okay, honestly, uh, I'm told I have bad taste. I like things that are mostly considered horrible by a lot of people's standards. So, with that being said, I am... I'm going to give you something that... I don't catch a lot of flack for, but it might sound unusual if you haven't watched it. My Netflix original recommendation is BoJack Horseman. (laughs) Oh, man. People at home might hear that laugh and say, oh, is that bad? Is he... Nope. Is, it, <laughs> is he really recommending something? That is a great adult animation. <laughs> it is. In fact, it it's is so one of the... It's up, it's up there with Archer. Oh. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it surpassed all of my expectations. Especially when you realize it's about a horse from, what, an 80s sitcom that is trying to find his way in modern day Hollywood Mm -hmm. starring Will Arnett and and a slew of other uh, fantastic actors and actresses it is a very shockingly funny look at Hollywood and the entertainment business in general and I I'm not sure you know what? I will say that this is the single best single best animated series for adults that I've ever seen. Although it's weird that I suggested two shows with Allison Bree. Hmm. I see a trend you're starting. <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah. I mean, <clears throat> maybe uh, let's see. You want to talk about what uh, what has hit and what will be hitting when it comes to Netflix for this week? Mm, let's see. Uh, well, I don't know about this week, but I know last week. Um, you're probably going to laugh at this. I just remembered I lied. You lied? That, yeah, I lied. Four months ago wasn't the last time I seen a movie on Netflix. I had a brain fart. Forgive me. I've been sick for the la- off and on for the last four weeks. Josh can attest to that. <laughs> um, this is true. So, on the vi- on the beginning on of this month of May, uh, I binge watched for the very first time all three Underworld movies with Kate Beckinsale. Okay, it, all three. Underworld movies. Uh, if you're a fan of werewolves like I am, uh, uh, Underworld, Underworld Evolution, and Underworld La- Rise of the Lycans is now available to watch on Netflix. As well as uh, all three Jarhead movies that I've already seen a long time ago. Wait, so they have Jar- the original Jarhead, uh, <laughs> and then they have the directed DVD movies Jarhead 2 and Jarhead 3. As well, I'm... Uh, the first part had had a big theatrical release uh, with uh, Jamie Fox and Jake Gyllenhaal, and then the other two, uh, you know, uh, B movie actors. But 
they're ju- almost as good as the original movie. You guys can go check that out. Okay. Well, I have a list in front of me right here. Okay, it's not an actual physical paper list, so I, there's no sound effect. Oh, there's another big show that's coming out tomorrow for you. I know you're a huge fan of that. Uh, well, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That, Kimmy man. the Reverend. <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> I wanted to beat you to it. Well, you did, you son of a... Anyway. You, you got me into that show. It's funny. I love it. It is funny. Mm-hmm. So here's what's already come out, and here's what's coming up as of May 11th. And we're going to talk about uh, everything in May. Plus... Oh, shit. Today's my not... dad's birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing you're in Hawaii, because if you're in the East Coast, you'd be screwed. No wonder he's cooking pot roast for dinner. <laughs> Okay. All right. So Netflix. He's films. 65, by the way, everybody. Well, tell your dad I said happy birthday and tell him that all of the people in the Netflix uh, universe. Yeah, I'm stealing it from WWE. They can sue me. No, please don't sue me. Tell him everybody says happy birthday, except for that one what guy. Is- you know who he is. He's just a jerk. <laughs> So on May first, the half of it came out all day and and all day and a night also came out. I don't have the descriptions in front of me, just the titles. So please bear with me. We will, you know, start fixing this kind of stuff up as time goes on. On May twelfth, tomorrow, Netflix original film, an interactive special. You remember how? Now, Black Mirror had that uh, interactive special. I do, but I haven't seen it yet. I I still haven't got. I'm only halfway through season two. I'm I'm. It's a slow burn for me. Okay, well, on top of all the content that you and I do on the side and all the other stuff that I watch, it's it's. I'm I'm trying not to rush through it. I'm not trying to want rush through Black Mirror. Yeah. The show that's been out for like five years. Yeah. I'm trying okay. not to rush through it. Okay. It, it is something that you should watch intently with attention. So hey, how... six, six weeks ago, I, I said I was going to watch Westworld season one and two. And halfway through season three, I still haven't started it yet. So I guess you can see where my mindset is. <laughs> yeah, because season three is over, man. Yeah. It's already it's already wrapped up. Oh, they had their ten episodes already. Yep. Okay. Well, although um, I'm I'm about f- four episodes behind at this point. The time H- flies HBO so subscription quick. lapsed a little bit, so I wasn't you know really concerned about it. Yeah. But the Black Mirror and there's even a Carmen San Diego interactive thing. It's basically choose your own adventure. You uh, you watch you know some of the some of the f- scene and then you basically pick what happens next. And I gotta say, every time that I've seen it done, the the flow is has been pretty pretty flawless. So you're not getting like a loading circle like, please wait while we process your decision. No, no, it's been pretty effortless. So, that's that's one of the reasons that I'm looking forward to it, as as well as it's connected to the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. They alive, damn it! It's a miracle. So, unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy versus the Reverend interactive special drops tomorrow. Now, what has come for uh, Netflix original series TV shows on Netflix uh, on May 1st Hollywood dropped a drama about well, what what was it 50s era um, Hollywood essentially and the less than squeaky clean behind the scenes stuff that was going on yeah that sounds about right <laughs> 
I I really do recommend that. I haven't watched it, but I it's one of those things that you see you see who's in it and you're like, yeah, I know it's going to be good. But because of its mature rating, I can't, like I said, just willy nilly watch it. It's gets apparently got a lot of sex stuff in it. So with the kids around, <clears throat> yeah, I have to hold back. On May 6th, Working Moms, Season 4, for all of you Working Moms fans, Season 4 came on the 6th, and you can uh, now stream that. On May 8th, Dead to Me, Season 2 dropped. I believe that's the show with Christina Applegate. Have you checked that out? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, It is one that I'm definitely interested in, but just uh, haven't gotten around to it. Like you said, man, there's just so much to take in, so much to do. It's mm-hmm. hard to to squeeze everything into the schedule. Up next, let's see the Eddie. Uh, that's going to that came on May eighth, and also on May eighth, Restaurants on the Edge season two. Today, Border Town season three dropped. Border Town, that is the animated series, right? I think so. Just say yes. I haven't seen it. So yeah, it it uh, dropped today and this week. No, it's see. not an animated series. It's not? Nope. Then what am I thinking of? Borderlands, the video game, maybe? <laughs> no, no, it's um, it's a it's a crime drama. I was thinking something that had, like, maybe I was thinking of Paradise PD. Yeah, that's probably it. I was thinking something with Daniel Tosh. But Border hmm. Town season three, May fifteenth, Magic for Humans season three. I, I I really enjoyed Magic for Humans. It was, you know, an interesting yeah. reality magic deal. Are you on May fifteenth? Yeah. There is one big thing that's dropping that's on Friday. that on that day. Friday, District, May fifteenth. District uh, Nine. One of my favorite movies of all time. Okay, do tell. District 9 is uh, basically aliens arrive on Earth. Uh, Oh yeah, it's alien paperwork. They're separated from humans in a section of South Africa called District 9. It's basically basically a large internment camp for aliens. And uh, uh, there is a uh, virus that ends up happening and it ends up turning the main protagonist's DNA uh, slowly slowly and he's starting to transform into the alien himself it's a really good watch the budget was pretty low for this film Uh, I believe it was like 25 to 35 million and it ended up making over 200 million which is nuts it was a massive um, I gotta be honest about that that movie it is one of the very few movies that I actually walked out on in the theater <laughs> for real yes absolutely I was really looking forward to it but I walked out because nothing was happening now with that being said it is a, it is a slow burn it is a slow burn uh, at the time I was we'll say less financially secure than I am now. So a bad movie, considering how much it costs to go to the movies, was I mean, it was a problem. So mm. if I if it didn't grab me within that first twenty minutes, I'm out the door because that's you know, that's like the very last minute I can get my money back just just because yeah. look, I'm not digging this. Do so you remember that I'd movie Chappie? Back. I didn't see Chappie. Chappy, it's a robot movie. It's basically kind of the same tone as District Nine. The same director. I I I walked out of Chappy, or should I say, I turned I turned the movie off. 
and I never watched it. I never finished it. Interesting, because like, so so it's yeah, yeah, it's, that's why I said <laughs> Tases is like similar, but not quite. <laughs> now, I will say this. I did go back and watch District 9, and I loved it. When I had the time to actually sit down and, and enjoy it, without worrying whether or not my last 10 bucks was wasted. It was a really good watch. Hmm. So how does that? I'm going to go back and watch Chappie. Okay. I'm, do you know what? Is it on Is it on Netflix? I'm asking you like you know everything on uh uh, like yeah, Chappie. On Netflix. No, I'm actually on Netflix. Right now. Chappie. Nope, Chappie's not on there. Okay. Well, I'll just have to figure something else out then. I put I, I typed Chappie in, and the first things they show is AXL, I Am Mother, Bright, Nine, Rim of the World, Spectral. And Code 8 with both Steven and Robbie Amell, which i never seen. What is this movie? Code 8. Code 8. Eight. Came out in 2019 with cousins Robbie Amell, Stephen Amell. Oh, they're cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. I thought they in were a city brothers. where superpowered people are ostracized, an earnest day labor considers him using his outlawed abilities for money to save his sick. Mo- oh, click to my list. Okay, yeah, I, I remember hearing his about fingers that. have a blowtorch on it, so it's very, it's it's right up my alley. Code 8 came out last year with the Amel boys. Or should I say the Canadian princes? <laughs> I want to say I watched something with... And Sun Kang from the Fast and Furious movies. You know, it was Upload, but that's a, that's a different streaming service. So, <laughs> I'm, Is it? Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I got that in my watch list. Upload. Yeah, I told you when I was watching it that, you know, I kept seeing this guy, and I was like, he looks so much like Stephen and Stephen Amell. Yeah, they're cousins. Identical cousins, and you'll find... In fact, uh, Robbie had a, at least one AEW cameo. Really? On one of the B videos a long ba- way back. <clears throat> okay. Um, going on to non-Netflix original stuff here, the stuff that's been added so far this month, on the first, there was, and pay attention, because I'm gonna just breeze through this and pause only, you know, when Ben stops me. Ace Ventura Pet Detective, one of the funniest movies made from the 90s, one of Jim Carrey's funniest stints. Uh, talking out of his butt. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> and it was my favorite movie with Dan Marino in it. Laces out. <laughs> uh, back to the Future and Back to the Future Part 2, which is weird because you would think, hey, Back to the Future Part 3 might be a good fit here too. But it's not listed. So Back to the Future and Back to the Future Part 2, the two-thirds of the greatest trilogy ever ever made and they are available to stream Uh, Cracked Up the Daryl Hammond story for fans of Daryl Hammond and his impressions he's he's great and this I believe is part documentary part mockumentary if I'm not mistaken because of course Daryl Hammond is going to be Daryl Hammond Uh, Jarhead already came out Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa. Masha and the Bear, Season 4. Reckoning, Season 1. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Now, I'm not going to say this was a bad movie by any means, but a movie about Brad Pitt aging backwards is... I don't know. I found it to be the cure for insomnia for me, so hopefully one of these days I'll actually be able to sit down, watch it, and finish it. Um, I, I want to like it because it's it's one of those premises that sounds like it's 
like right up my alley. But so far, every attempt has been, you know, kind of a failure, to be honest. The Patriot. If you ever want to see Mel Gibson throw a tomahawk, this is the movie. And also, if was it Heath Ledger that played his uh, oldest son? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it sounds right. Uh, as you mentioned, Underworld, Underworld Evolution, and Underworld Rise of the Lycans. If you're into, you know, vampire and werewolf stories that don't involve sparkles and lots of fighting, then this could be your series. And it is <clears throat> all available already on Netflix and some streaming. Urban Cowboying, that's a that's a classic. If you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. But again, not with the kids. May 9th, Charmed Season 2. Hit. Charmed seems like... And I don't want to be... I don't want to sound like I'm making some sort of judgment here, Ben. But Charmed seems like it'd be kind of your thing. Um... I tell you what, I did not watch the original Charmed until like the last two seasons, um, because my mom is a huge, huge fan of of uh, Shannon Doherty. Um, but I actually enjoy the reboot. Oh yeah, I, I yeah I enjoy the reboot. It's like uh, it reminds me of the supernatural earlier seasons. Before they just started to go way overboard, and by the way, Josh, just to point out, uh, I I I can confirm, Train to Bu- Train to Busan is on Netflix. I was looking it up. Yes, that Netflix. Uh, that's why we recommended it because it's on it's on Netflix. And uh, I'm trying to confirm to see if. Uh, it actually has multi language. No, it, uh, okay. There, there is no English dubbing on this one. Good, because I do not recommend the English dub. It's horrible. Let's see. Grace, when Anatomy. are they getting? When are they gonna? Do they have a date on when they're getting rid of all the Disney slash Marvel content? The answer is never. I thought. Um, uh, but- it's 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 gonna do what it always does. It comes and goes, but there's oh, no okay. exclusivity anymore. Or they won't be showing any of the newer stuff on here. I, I imagine not, and they certainly won't be showing any of the older stuff. But Netflix does have that deal with Nickelodeon right now. Unfortunately, it's only for the more recent Nickelodeon stuff, mm-hmm. which makes my heart sad because. Have- I want I want the okay. '90s stuff. I want the '80s stuff. I want to be able to watch Clarissa Explains It All, and Roundhouse, and Ren and Stimpy, Doug, Rocco's Modern Life. I want all of that on Netflix. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> uh, uh, May May ninth already happened. Grey's Anatomy season sixteen. There's a show that's trying to break the Simpsons record. It seems. Uh, May 14th, Riverdale, Season 4. I know that show's gained a lot of traction um, over the years. And oh, if I'm not mistaken, it it airs also on television? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're about to... A lot of the CW stuff happening this week and next week is the end of the season. Uh, they pulled the plug early because they couldn't finish like uh, all of the DC shows. They had to prematurely uh, uh, stop production early. So a lot of these shows are only like 16, 17, 18 episodes instead of the usual 22, 23, 24 due to the coronavirus. Okay. So the season finales for a lot of the CW shows started two weeks ago. And they won't be back until October. Or November. Which sucks. Yeah. Um, I know watching SNL this week, it was a, like an impromptu season finale. And yeah, they, they did it all on uh, webcam too, didn't they? Yeah. Well, kind of. There were some webcam sketches, but 
uh, some of it was actually just self-produced sketches from home, you know? Well, it was all done from home, essentially, but... And a good portion, anytime there was more than one more more than one person, of course it needed an internet connection for them to to work together. But you know, there there were a few really good sketches, just you know, someone with their camera at home, uh doing some funny stuff. Really enjoyed it. Uh Riverdale let's see, May sixteenth, I believe is the last day we're gonna talk about. Public Enemies. That was the Johnny Depp movie, right? Where he's Dillinger? I haven't seen it. That that sounds right. Johnny Depp was Dillinger. And uh, next time I will definitely have a lot of I will go back to my go back to my regular researching to make sure that I have all of this information ready for you and ready to go. <laughs> so that is everything that's come and coming over the next week for net uh, for Netflix instant streaming. Uh, before we get out of here, you know what? I, I said I was going to do this, so I'm going to do this. Netflix has instituted a rankings system, essentially. They put out the top ten most watched i love it i love that they did this it's really good so i figured hey let's uh let's count it down we can do this they do this every week right weekly listings yeah it's it's weekly listings so weekly listings and if you combine that weekly top tens to what's trending now, whatever's trending on your list, because it's different for everybody. If you combine those two things together, you got a lot of content to watch for that week. All right. I have it right up right here. We'll start at number 10, work our way backwards because that's how countdowns are supposed to work. Number 10, Ozark. Number nine, Working Moms. Number eight, Den of Thieves. Number seven, Extraction. Number six, Becoming. Number five, Hollywood. Number four, Sleepless. Number three, this is this right? Why is an old movie trending number four? It must be Jamie Foxx stands. 2017 Vegas cop attempts to rob a drug drug shipment from a casino kingpin, but the heist goes horribly wrong, leading to the kidnapping of a son. Harry Cruz has his own movie? I'm going to save this. Uh, Number Number three, three. John Henry. Starring Terry Cruz. Starring Terry Cruz. Number two. The Outer Banks, or just Outer Banks. I'm going to be binging that next week. And number one, as mentioned on this show, Dead to Me. Honestly, uh, this show compared to other uh, women-centric shows, you know, like... uh, Orange is the New Black and uh, I don't know, man. Sex, it's Sex in the City and it's all that good. stuff. How does this one fare up? Having a clue. <laughs> all right. It's, like I said, it's something I find that I might be interested in. Not quite sure if I am. I haven't watched it yet. It's on my list. And as we said, lists are made to sit there apparently because there's just so much content to watch. But that's why we have the Netflix, which will be here each and every Monday night, 10 to, I guess, 11 uh, Eastern, 7 to 10 Central. No, that would be three hours. That's that's when Raw comes on. No, nah. 7 to 8 Pacific. 
I even said Central. Man, I am just off central. my game. They today. should abolish Central time zone. I don't know why. And Mountain. And I believe this is 4 to 5 Hawaiian, correct? Yeah. Cool. So, to follow us on social media, I am at Skit Comic. And Ben is at Yo Bro MMO. You can also catch us every Saturday night right here at SimicorStudios.com or wherever your fine podcasts are sold. We do a little little wrestling show called The Backstage Slam. If you're into professional wrestling, by all means, join us each and every week Saturday night. But if you are a writer, actor, director, or you're in any kind of film crew, you can join me and Brandon over uh, over at SimicorStudios.com Friday nights at 10. If you couldn't tell, 10 o'clock is going to be the Simicor thing. So, you know, just plug it in Friday, Saturday, and right now Monday. We'll get the rest of the days filled up as, you know, content becomes available. And I guarantee you that next week it's going to be a little bit smoother. It's going to be a little bit more fluid as we talk about the new things coming to Netflix instant streaming right here on the Netflix. Uh, ben, before we get out of here, if there's anything else you want to, you kind of want to throw out there. Yeah. I just want to remind everybody to uh, stay safe. Um, no matter what country or what part of the world you live in, no matter what your government tells you, uh, you know, if they end up giving the all clear, everybody can go back to work, go back to school uh you know get back to the normal continue to you know uh watch who you touch what you touch continue to be vigilant about washing your hands with a lot of soap always carry hand sanitizers with you uh if you have an itchy throat and you cough make sure you cough into your into the cup of your arm or like me just pull your shirt over your nose and sneeze or whatever, uh, keep your germs to yourself. Make sure you practice cleanliness and uh, be safe out there, everybody. Excellent words of advice from uh, at Yobro MMO. Ben, thanks for being here tonight. Look forward to doing this uh, with you on a regular basis. You oh, know, yeah. It's, as long as you're feeling good, don't want you, you know, falling over in the middle of the show. About ninety uh, percent the flu. <laughs> About ninety percent. Hopefully, by this weekend, you will be back up to a hundred, and yep. we can talk about money in the bank because whew, that's a subject oh. for a different show, though. <laughs> uh, thanks yeah, for joining us. I'm actually going to watch. I'm actually going to watch the entire thing in about two hours, three hours from now. Well, you know, only like the last forty-five minutes. Anyway. That's, it's a again, short pay per view, so I can stomach it. I'm, I'm, I'm at least got that looking forward to. <laughs> again, subject for a different show. Join us Saturday to talk about that. Right now, this has been the Netflix. I'm Josh. That's been. It has been our pleasure to serve you, and hopefully, we gave you some good stuff to watch during this whole thing that's happening. Good night, everybody. Beam me up, Scotty.